Hey yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy here, and today we are going to be looking at the new body kits that have been added into Southlaw Sword. Now there are 6 kits total across 2 cars, I'm going to be checking out every single one of those kits, as well as I'm going to customize my favorite kit out of both of the cars and i'll give you guys the customization so then if you guys wanted to customize just like me or just something around what i do then you guys can have it but yeah uh, before i get into this video where i show you guys all these nice new body kits i'll let you guys have a few things first things first my name is high project car views car things all that car stuff so if you guys do like this video hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell for notification every time i upload a new video second thing is i got a roblox group with roblox merch i had a discord group we join and i got some socials you can follow all the links are in the description below but yeah why don't we get into this like video right here so this car right here if you guys don't know is the honda s2000 now uh if you guys want to know the exact in-game name of the two cars with the kits it's the non sylvia s15 the 2002 edition these are both in the coupe section by the way just all the way at the bottom not well this is my garage but they'll be somewhere in the coupe section in the dealership so we have the 2002 non sylvia s15 and the 2009 honda s2000 or the it's literally honda if even with the a but anyways we're gonna be modifying both these cars so let's uh, change the time to six in the morning so you know it gets brighter out and you got day for longer but let's ram our s2000 a few times into the wall just for good luck and let's start looking at some of these kits here so first kit we get to i don't know why i hopped out of the car and i don't know why the menu bugged anyways uh performance and then you go all the way down to body kit it's all the way down you just gotta just keep scrolling and why don't we check out our first kit here now i'm not sure what this is but it'll tell me in the corner oh amuse body kit so this is the amuse body kit this is the eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollar body kit let's hop out of our s2000 and throw it back down just right on the ground right there just because and let's check out what's different so we have a new hood we have a little bit of side flare here we got the we got a new uh front splitter type thing going on here um Let's see, you get the side skirts and then the back bumper kind of looks just a little bit more aggressive with this little like notch there. But overall, it's like a clean, it's a clean kit if you, you know, just want something a little, a little subtle, you know, something to put like a nice blue on. This kind of, this kind of like a blue kind of body kit, you know, it kind of works with like a blue, maybe a pink, something, something pretty light. But why don't we continue on with the next body kit here, the $16,000 body kit, the Jay's Racing body kit for $16,000. And $99, which is a weird price to say, but anyways, um, this looks sick. This is the one I looked in the I'll put in the thumbnail, and let me tell you, this alone with the yellow and stock rims looks perfect. Honestly, I think this might be one of the best S2000 body kits. And generally, probably the best kit in the game. Uh, this is this is a little weird. I don't know what that's for. Probably to purge your um purge your nitrous system or something like that. But, uh, it's pretty nice. Now, I don't know how I feel about the back as well. Maybe I would have cut this part off of the car. But, like, it generally kind of looks really, really good all the way around. It has a very, 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 very nice look to it. And I give this one my Hypot stamp of approval, which is going to be my first one of the day. Anyways, let's move back into the, uh, what's called customization bay here. And we will check out the $14,000 body kit, the Vortex kit. Purchase, jump out of it. And then we spawn this bad boy right there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We got a sp front splitter, we got a rear wing, and then we got a nice like exhaust, you know, type look to it. This is not all too bad. I would maybe put a wide body on this if it was possible, but you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's like it's like a nice kit. It's 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 like subtle. It's like the first kit. You know, it's it's pretty cool. That's kind of nice. But yeah. Uh, I will customize the, what's it called, the second kit that I just looked at, what was it, the J's Racing or the K's Racing kit? We're gonna, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be customizing that one later. Why don't we uh, hop out with the S15 so you guys can see this one before we go into customizing some of these bad boys. So, let's go to performance, let's go over here and slap the $10,000 body kit on it, the, the BP Sports Body Kit, let's throw that on the ground right here. Alrighty, so, um, it's kind of plain if you ask me it has the front slit front lip here i was gonna say splitter but i think it's just you can call that a lip or splitter then you get the rear the rear one here you get side skirts so it's kind of like just guide side skirts all the way around it's just kind of like something you'd probably lower just a little bit and maybe add like a body kit onto it if i mean like not a body kit but a wide body onto it if there was an option to do that for this car and I don't know, because I haven't checked out the other body kits. And that's what we're doing. We're checking out all the body kits together. So let's go to the performance section. Let's go to the $12,000 body kit right here. Purchase that bad boy and have my camera bug out for a second. 
then we spawn this bad boy in right there so let's take a look at this one this one is mean um it kind of reminds me of the s2000 kit it's just i don't know how i feel about the double the double stacked uh lip with with the ca canards canards i don't know i don't know how that feels the splitters i'm just gonna call it splitters um yeah, i don't know how i feel about that and then the rear same thing as the s2000 second body kit i just don't know how i feel about the uh you know the, the not so cut edged s so uh, that's what is this i completely forgot the s15 i was it's like i don't know why i'm struggling so much on this um anyways we've taken a look at this one why don't we hop out and check out the last body kit, which I might customize, because I think it looks pretty neat. This is the rabbit body kit for twelve thousand. I mean, fourteen thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, and let's pop that bad boy on the ground. So, um, wide body kit definitely can make a really good build out of this, and we're gonna build this one because I feel like it. So, why don't we get into the build portion of the video, if you guys? Um, you know, saw everything you need to, then. I feel free to leave, but you know, uh, I do have tuning guides for both of these cars as well. Both these cars go a pretty quick amount. So if you guys want to check those out, those are on my channel. You can just look them up, the S15 and the S2000. The S2000 goes incredibly quick, and I think this one has the tune on it as we speak. So why don't we get into perform the performance tab and get into customizing this car. So why don't we get into our... What's it called? Let's get into our where where is the suspension? Okay, so we're gonna lower this thing because this thing definitely needs to be lowered. So we're gonna lower this pre-comp pretty low. We're gonna get oh wow. Um you know what? I think we should do tires first because I feel like if once we get a good gauge on the tires, we'll have a good gauge overall on what we need to do. So let's get wheel width and wheel size. So good thing this wheel size came out because this is definitely gonna be needed because oh no my camera it's gonna definitely gonna be needed because it's a uh, it's definitely one kit and my my thing is broken no come back come back car come back please please this isn't working out well guys wait actually it just parked itself in here so we just we just customize it here now great if it didn't work there you park yourself here perfect thank you car anyways wheel size we're just gonna increase this bad boy's wheel size just a little bit we need a bigger we need bigger tires on this thing i think a hundred doesn't look Ooh, actually, 100 does look pretty bad. What's the stock on this? Mm, we need a little bigger. Like, let's say right about 60 doesn't look too bad. So we'll do 60, and then we're going to lower the car. All right, we're going to 60. Go. Okay, we're good. We're good. 60 purchase. And then we're going to go to suspension, and then drop the car in the back. All right, and then we don't want it to be, like, dragging on the ground. So we're going to look at this side. So we got... A nice, I think we got a nice one. We can do 60 again in the back. And then we can do a 60 in the front here. 60. Eh. Eh. I don't know how I feel about the inwards curve of this kit, but it's okay. It's lowered. That's all we needed. So it lowered. It's pretty cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that and we take the wheel width of the car. We do need to push this car's wheel out a lot. So I'm just going to do that, right? Um. Now, is there another way to do that? There's offset, that's what we need. Okay, never mind, we're just gonna do offset. My bad, guys, my bad. We are gonna increase the wheel width, though, just a little bit to make it look a little neater on the inside. Let's offset this wheel by a lot, by too much. We can go right about, we can go a little further. We can go right about there, I'd say. Does the tire come out too much? No, that's not too bad. We'll go a little bit more in. We'll go to like, 180 seems too, not too bad. Okay, we'll do 180. And then we'll do 180 in the rear as well. So we have some, like, evenly kind of put out tires. You know, nothing too... Whoa. Oh, I did not realize what I typed. Okay, so we're going to go with 180. Check the, check the rears out real quick. Rears look okay. Okay, we're going to put the rears out just a little bit more. We'll do, whoa, 200 on the rears. That's a slash 200. Guys, I'm not doing okay. I'm not. This is not going well. This is going, like, actually not well. Oh, no, it's clipping. No, it's not clipping. It's fine. Um. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it pushing the kit out? No, I was about to say. It looked like it was pushing the kit with it. Okay, so we're just going to do 185 in the rear. That doesn't look too bad right there, actually. And then we're going to do the wheel width. Uh, because we do need to upgrade the wheel. What happened in the front? Hello? I don't understand. Did I make it? Did I make it bigger? Why does it? Oh, because I accidentally clicked it. Wheel width. I'm going to make that 
50, 50 in the front, 50 in the back. That doesn't look too... We'll do 35, actually. 35, 35. Not too bad. So the tires look a little bigger. Goes with the body kit just a little better. All right, so we got that going. And we're going to drop some camber in the car. We're going to do some... Definitely not inward camber, but a little bit more outward, right? Nothing too crazy, because if we do too crazy, it just kind of looks messy and like a three-year-old made it. We're going to have a little bit going, kind of like that. Maybe maybe like a five-degree camber there. And then the rear as well. We're going to have some... A little bit more doesn't hurt, right? Oh, wait. I was going the wrong direction, guys. Don't worry. I know, uh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So we're going to do five-degree and negative camber. All right. 5 degree and negative camber. Don't worry guys, I'm getting this. Okay, so there we go. Got some outwards tires. Looks a little cleaner now, right? And then we have suspension. We're done with that. We're done with wheel width. We're done with wheel size. We're done with camber. We're done with offset. Right, so I think that's really all we can do there. All right, it's nice and lowered. I'm just going to purchase whatever I purchased there. The camber, I guess. And then we're going to go to paint. Is the camber there? Oh, the camber is there. Okay. Then we're going to paint this thing. So painting this, I would go for a... We need to saturate this first. We're going to do... Ooh, definitely not a light green. I'm going to go through the spectrum here really quickly. Red doesn't look all too good on this 15. I think like a nice pink could do too as well. Mm, the red doesn't go good. Proceeds to say pink. But like a hot pink isn't too bad. I think I make like a custom pink. It's on my... Um, what's it called? Uh, S, wait, 765LT, guys, 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 I can't speak today. And it's kind of like a red-pinkish mix, but no, we can go for like a light blue on this one. A light blue build, not all too bad. This is actually really good, I like this color. Maybe we should make it a little darker. Nice little turquoise color, I don't know. This is actually too dark for my preference, and you guys heard that loud Discord ping. By the way, that Discord ping was from my Discord server. If you guys want to join the Discord server, link is in the description below, as always. Anyways, reflectance, eh, it's a little, we don't need a too reflecty, right? We'll just um, put the 10, we'll keep it at 10. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I forgot the color. <laughs> no, guys, 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 purchase the paint first, right? Make sure you purchase the paint before you back out. Anyways, I wish we could change specific things like the the hood color and all that, but that's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of a stance wheel setup here. Um, definitely not going with... Oh, we need bigger spokes. If we're going to do that, I feel like we need bigger ones. Um, no. No, definitely not, actually. I don't know if I like the bigger ones at all. Uh, we go for white. We need a white rim on this. Definitely not like a... Like a dark blue color you know that doesn't look very nice uh we need something with a nice tire range white 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 so those are all like rally type car looking wheels uh definitely not not a trt rim track track rims can be a hit or miss this one's not all too bad it kind of matches the white on this one looks pretty cool too if you guys have any rim like choices i mean like you guys probably know a lot more about the customization part of roblox but if you guys have any other, like white rims you know i think a white rim of any kind will do probably it's not a vip rim it's probably gonna be this track rim at the end here this is not all too bad it seems a little basic in my opinion but if i can't find any other good looking rim the euro rims this one's all right too but yeah just find yourself a good rim that's in a white Kind of has the spokes like this one. Uh, or find like a gold one maybe. Gold could look cool too. But you have to find the right like right white one. This is not too bad. This is not too bad. This is nice. This this I could this I could see happening on this car actually. But we'll just pick one and then move on. Because we do have the S15 we need to customize here. So we'll put the white street rims that were at the end here i'm pretty sure the street rims were the street rims or the track rims which one were they the track rims these we'll put these on here um you know it's not all too bad you could probably put the camera out just a little bit more but this is my build for this you could probably put a different color as well but this is kind of how i think this car kind of fits itself it kind of looks cool you can also drift this one around a little bit you know throw itself around it's just it doesn't look all too bad all right it's it's not too too bad anyways uh let's go over to the s2000 which you could definitely customize a lot better and uh, make it look a lot nicer so we're gonna first of all we're gonna probably just we don't need to lower it this is low as is so this is that's a good thing oh and we're and we're breaking everything again 
Please sit and park. Okay. Anyways, let's go to performance. We're not going to drop this car any further than it already is. I think we're just going to put camber on this car here. So let's go to camber, right? And then let's go out. Ooh, we might need new rims. We might need new rims. Okay. Put the camber out a little bit. Probably, probably like 50. 50 doesn't look all too bad. 50 does look really bad in the back though. Uh, maybe we lower it. Maybe we don't. We do need the wheels to go out just a little bit if we're gonna lower. Actually, this isn't too too bad. We'll do 50-50. Probably offset the wheels outwards just a little bit more to make it look just a little better. 65-ish doesn't look too bad. I like I like I like numbers that aren't six, seven, eight, or nine. It has to be five or zero at the end. I don't know why it's just like it's just like something that I do. I just like a, f a solid good number, a, f a multiple number at the end that isn't two, four, six, eight. It just needs to be zero. Okay. Anyways, uh, about my OCD about that one. When we continue on, do we need to? I mean, we could probably lower it just a little. We just slam the S two thousand. There we go. That's our that's our drag build S2000, guys. That's it for today's. I'm just kidding. Imagine we did that and we just ended it there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stock it. Oof. Maybe the back does need a little bit of a drop, doesn't it? Okay. We'll do 3075. We'll do 475. So it's kind of like even, even. It's a little lower. I don't know if people would notice, but you know, it's a little lower. And then we do need to change up the rims. The rims do look really nice. However, I don't feel like the, no, I don't feel like the rims do match, but let's see if we can find any other color and just kind of works on this car. Like a pink doesn't all, oh, it doesn't look all too bad. This car reminds me of the Fast and Furious car. I'm pretty sure that was a pink. I'm colorblind, by the way, guys, if you don't know. This blue right here, 189, 74, 69. Doesn't look all too bad either. But I feel like I want to go with like a pink on this one. This is nice, 324, 74. 74 74 doesn't look all too bad let's go with the now nah, let's go with 75 here and then we'll go with a little eh, 67 doesn't look all too bad either so this is this is a cool little nice pink paint you can see the color code up at the top there what we did do now is we're gonna take the wheels we're gonna modify this bad boy up real quick so we're gonna take some new white rims this look you know just put the same white rims on there maybe we could put a black rim on here actually I mean, black rim wouldn't look too bad either um no definitely not uh, mm, there's a lot of good rim options. It's just like you, it's hard to find on specific cars with specific colors. Uh, this is definitely not going to be it. This, it's okay. Stancing the car, definitely these would work as well. This is not too bad either, actually. Uh, we'll do some spokes, 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 spoke wheels, as per always. Inwards wheels, not really outwards wheels, eh. I think the ones at the beginning here were all too bad. I think we'll go with the second one here. Oh, the first one doesn't look too bad either. Uh, okay, so we'll remember that. That's in the stance section. We'll go check out Classic really quickly, see if Classic has anything for us that might work. Yeah, these are... This is cool. This is nice. This is neat. This is neat. I think we might go for something like that, right? Snow stock rooms. Yeah, I think that last one on this on here doesn't look all too bad. I think we might go for this one. I think these are it. So there, these are in the classic, and these are just like a few scrolls away. You'll find it next to this um, military two color here. And yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. It's a $1,680 rim. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We've lowered it just a little bit. This S2 doesn't have to really need too much, but hey. Overall, this thing doesn't look all too bad, and the body kits don't look too bad. I hope you guys did enjoy, though, uh, tuning these cars with me. Not tuning these cars, but modifying these cars with me, and doing all these other cool things with me. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this body kit video. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye!